OK, uh, we will bring you uh, more from the Prime Minister and the other leaders as and when we can. Meantime, let's chat to some more people, should we? Hello. Hello. You're live on Sky. Oh, wonderful. I get Sky in, in Australia. Fantastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's Australia, Australia, New Zealand. Oh, and it's in New York. It's a boy. It's a boy. Oh, how wonderful. It's a boy. Look, must have known something. Blue. Blue on there. For someone special. Because he is very, very special. Because I was born in New Zealand, I'm a Kiwi, and we sing God Save the Queen. And it'll be God Save the King now in a few years' time, won't it? It'll be fantastic. And I now live in Brisbane, and on behalf of all the Brisbaneites and my family, the Jeffreys and the Campbells, say congratulations to Kate and to William. Let me interrupt you for just a second to tell our viewers that BT Tower has been lit up at something like 600 feet high, and it's been lit up with It's a Boy. It's the highest wow. point in London. Wow. Fantastic. Uh, this is a, a, a moment of history and uh, it's a wonderful, wonderful moment for the whole nation. Well, you, did you think it was going to be a girl? No, I thought it was a boy all along. Everybody says that now, don't they? Yes, everybody says that, but I'm sure a boy is the right thing. Perfect. Continue. Any thoughts on names? Um, she'll go for a traditional name, I'm quite sure, not one of the latest modern names. Well, it's called James, of course, isn't it? Yes, could be James, could be George. Um, no idea, really. Maybe Francis in there as well. Hi. Hey, congratulations to the royal couple. Yes, definitely. Congratulations, William and Kate. Yeah. <laughs> Did you think it was going to be a boy? No, I actually thought it was going to be a girl. I don't know why. <laughs> have you got any thoughts on names? Hmm. Uh, maybe Alexander? Oh, it's my son's name, so I think that's a great name. How did you hear the news? Uh, a friend rang me when I was on the bus coming up here. Yeah. Did you get her in time? No. Okay. No, well, we, that's actually we, we think we might see William later, so stay oh, tuned really? for that. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Yeah. So let's oh, just uh, make our way past uh, the cruise a little bit more. Oh, I'm not sure why people are calling me, but I'll head back this way. Oh, here we go. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Royal Bayless. Happy, Happy birthday to you. No, that wasn't William at all. I'm not sure who it was, but I was very excited about the prospect. I know that he is coming along a little bit uh, later on. Let's chat to some of these people here. It's very difficult to hear. to see this like it's a huge show I'm from Russia actually so it's a, a very important event I think so it's, it happens once 20 30 years so I'm very happy to see this who else wants to show it to us yeah. we're just lucky to be here very lucky <laughs> madam oh hi dear I'm from New Zealand on my OE great news congratulations did you expect to be a boy or a girl oh I thought a girl so but lovely as long as they're healthy any thoughts on names at this early stage no idea my friend picked Alexander Spence so maybe <laughs> oh, okay Alexander coming out quite a lot actually yeah, isn't he this afternoon yeah, yeah. Oh, I, I can't get round to you but I'll come I'll come back there a little bit later on Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Isn't that lovely? Lots of people have been watching Sky News throughout the day. You know what? I think we should walk back down this way, Dave, because 
given that uh, there's been a bit of a false alarm about William already, I do think that that might happen uh, in the non-too-distant future. Officers over there are trying to still keep the way through because this, of course, is a working hospital. I think it's a bit of a losing battle for them just at the moment. I can also see the uh, I can also see the town crier down here. I'm not sure whether we're going to be able to have a chat with him or not, but hopefully we'll do that very shortly. Can we have a quick word with you? Yes, we can. Fantastic. Let's have a quick chat with you. Hi. Oh, <laughs> Sky. <laughs> very impressive. Yeah, uh, do you like it? Good timing. Good timing. Oh, good timing. And had you written it previously, or how does this work? Um, well, I've been a town crier for 25 years. Yeah, but, but the, as far as the speech is concerned that you read out today, I've got to be very honest with her. The guy was a, a journalist, a raw journalist from the Times who wrote it for me, so, uh, I, so I had to have it correctly. Uh, did you know it was going to be a boy? Yes, I did. I did. I, I had an interview with my local newspaper in Chelmsford this morning, and I said that uh, it's going to be a boy. That's on record. Why did you think it was going to be a boy? I just had all of that, a little whisper on the grapevine. It's town criers get whispers. Is that right? <laughs> I'm telling you now. Tell us about the history of town criers. Town criers came here, Kate, in 1066. People didn't know the news. He was specifically employed by the king to give royal proclamations, execution, deaths, and like today, royal births. He was protected by the king. And that's what it's all about. And how know? do you become a town crier? Uh, I become a town crier. I'm the lord of the manor of Great Baddow. And uh, one day a little boy said to me, I was just in my manure robes, he said, yeah, mate, you said you look like a town crier. And I thought,